discuss overcoming five common facility safety mistakes. These tips and reminders will help you create a safer work environment for your employees. Stay tuned until the end of this three minute video where I'll give you an opportunity to request more safety assistance on any of these topics. Now come on in closer with me and let's get to business. 1. Proper use of safety cabinets. One of the leading causes of industrial fires is the improper storage and handling of flammable liquids. Safety cabinets help you safely store fuels, chemicals, and solvents to reduce the risk of fire and protect life and property. It is necessary to ground a safety cabinet if you are dispensing liquids from containers inside the cabinet and the potential of ignitable vapor is possible, so make sure you're using your safety cabinets properly. Two, bilingual facility identification. If your facility consists of employees who speak Spanish as their primary language and English as a secondary, provide facility identification in a bilingual method. Proper signage can communicate important instructions and reinforce safety messages, and can warn employees who may be exposed to hazards. And actually, it's more than just signs. Facility identification can be labels, scoreboards, tags, posters, and more. Don't let your safety messages get lost in translation. Three, lockout tagout training requirements. Lockout tagout is consistently in OSHA's annual top 10 list of the most violated standards. These procedures protect employees from machinery whose energy sources may unexpectedly start or release energy during maintenance. For this type of work, you must have an energy control program and your employees must be properly trained. The two largest groups of trained employees are either authorized or affected. So here's a question for you. Can an authorized employee lock out the equipment if he or she is not working on it? Check the YouTube video text below to see if you know the right answer. 4. Preventing falls on walking surfaces. So most slips, trips, and falls occur in a wet, contaminated floor condition that can be prevented by the use of proper floor matting. Floor matting can drain water, prevent fatigue, remove debris, and can be a first defense in preventing slips. Floor matting can also be custom cut and designed for your workspace. Of course, don't forget to give attention to good housekeeping habits, removing obstacles from your walking surfaces, and to properly cover those electrical cords and cables. Five, testing emergency eye wash and showers. ANSI states emergency stations must be accessible within 10 seconds, or roughly 55 feet, of hazardous areas. Units must also provide 15 minutes of continuous flushing. Plumbed units are to be tested weekly, yes weekly, for activation, water flow, and duration of activation. It's also recommended to test your accessibility of obstacle-free travel to the station, so you know you're going to run right out and dust yours off and give it a good test today. Okay, so we just reviewed our five common facility safety mistakes and how to overcome them. In summary, the best way to increase safety and minimize injuries at your facility is to evaluate, plan, and prepare. So, do you think you might need some help on one or more of these topics? Follow the link in the YouTube text below to a form where you can request additional safety assistance and product information. So thanks for watching and join us in working together to make America safe.